I don't figure out where do I want to begin, man. This is gonna go wrong. Okay, Johnny Depp. Okay, cheekbones. It's not maybe the right color for me. I look so tanned right now. <laughs> like, what is going on? Hi guys, welcome back to the Look Fantastic YouTube channel. I'm Abby Roberts, and today we're gonna be trying out some TikTok makeup hacks. I am no stranger to those. I've seen a few blowing up lately, and I'm really intrigued to try those out. So I'm gonna be using all look fantastic products today to test out these little makeup packs and we'll see how it goes. And um, before we get into it, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss any uploads from Look Fantastic. And let's get right into it. So the first trend that I actually want to try out is by Emile Warren One. And he does some super beautiful makeup looks, but his foundation technique is actually super interesting. That's what we're gonna be trying first off. I'm interested to see if it's gonna work on my skin tone because I have, pr I'm pretty pale, you know? I have some products with me right now. First one, which is my go-to foundation, it is the Ordinary Serum Foundation. It is my absolute favorite of all time, so we're gonna be using her. And then for like the contour bits and pieces, I have the NYX Concealer Palette. This is in the shade Medium, so I have some nice like kind of cool-ish tones in here. I was going for as cool as I could get because I am so fair, like I don't want it to look super orange on my skin. I don't figure out where do I want to begin, man. This is gonna go wrong. Before I start, I want to make sure my face is like super moisturized. So I'm gonna go in with some CeraVe moisturizer, my favorite moisturizer. I think Emil started with the contour shade, so that's what I'm gonna go in with first. I'm gonna go in with this shade. I don't think they have like specific names to be honest. We're basically drawing an outline on my head right now. Wait, maybe that's a little bit too light. I don't know, should I go darker? But no, I'm pretty pale, guys. I don't know if this is gonna be too orange. I'm scared, man. I'm scared. And Emil also takes this down his nose. I have to say, like, Emil's contouring technique is freaking flawless. That seems pretty good so far, right? Next shade is my foundation and then taking this on another flat brush. I have faith in this foundation, you know, I use her all the time, never does me dirty. And for our concealer, I'm gonna be using Kevin Kwan Central Skin Enhancer in shade SX01. I have to say, I haven't used this concealer in a while, but it is one of like my all time favorites. It takes me back to like when I was first like doing drag makeup looks and stuff because it is such a beautiful finish like it really is so nice on the skin like I don't even, why did I stop using this I don't even know take a nice big scoop she's thick y'all okay it's just under the eyes right the highlight yeah okay guys how may I look beautiful <laughs> it's the moment of truth time to blend this out I'm starting with the foundation because like, I know she's not going to fail me, but I'm a bit worried about this contour, like... <laughs> to be honest, I think like a lot of these foundation hacks and like TikTok hacks are more just so it looks shocking on camera and it's like, not actually worth it at all, to be honest. I guess we'll see, because the results did look really good. Okay, Johnny Depp. Okay, cheekbones. I'm kind of leaving the highlight to last. I don't want it to get muddy but also this is pretty orange for me like you can tell I think like bringing it this far down on the face as well kind of like isn't best suited for my face structure I actually like the forehead to be honest I'm having to like proper beat my face so I'm not gonna lie let's try blend out some of the highlight see if that makes things better I do actually really like this highlight placement. And the nose contour actually is not bad either. How are we feeling guys? This isn't fully blended out, kind of. Is it bad? No. Is it life changing in this method of contouring? Also no, like I feel like I would get better results than 
to just like typically use my regular like powder contour to be honest it's probably just the shade though also because i find it super difficult to find cream contours that like sit well on my skin because i ha I usually have to use something super super cool tone otherwise it can tend to just look a bit orange like, especially around the hairline you can really see it's not maybe the right color for me the end result she looks good she looks super cute actually i really like her <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the rest of my base off camera and then we'll be back to try some more trends. The next trend I'm gonna be trying out is an eyeliner trend. Um, I saw Lankalil do this. You might know her guys already if you're like into makeup on TikTok. <laughs> She did doing her eyeliner like different celebrities and I'm gonna try that today but I'm not gonna try all of them because that's too much work. <laughs> I'm just gonna try the Bella Hadid one because it's super cute and I don't think I've really done an eyeliner look like that before. I'm gonna be using the NYX Epic Ink Liner. This is my all-time favourite eyeliner. I will not use anything else. Um, it's incredible. So yeah, it's like a brush tip, not a felt tip eyeliner and it's a nice little pen. Super thin, super fine, super precise. So the eyeliner look is actually just like a basic wing but with a little bit that swoops back kind of into the crease. Dude, doing the eyeliner on camera is so stressful. So I'm gonna mess it up. Right, I just went ahead and finished up that other eye off camera and now I'm gonna add some lashes. All right, and um, the last trend that I'm gonna be trying today is the lips. We just have to finish off the face. This is something that's super simple. I've done this before. I know that this works, but I just kind of want to show you guys the technique because it's still something that I get asked how to do constantly. So first off, you kind of just want to like conceal the lips, I guess. I look so tanned right now. <laughs> <laughs> like what is going on then you want to take any lipstick of your choice i'm going for kind of a nude peachy look today so this is honey love by mac you want to place that not all the way to the edge of your lips but just kind of in the center just like that just so it's not reaching like the very edge do the same on top looks a bit weird right now it looks kind of like i have no lips it will get better i promise so then you just want to take a clean blendy brush and blend out the edge really rough. Doesn't matter if it goes over the edge of your lip. I'm trying to create those like just kissed lips or lollipop lips it was called for a while. Um, it's kind of like a big trend in a lot of Asian cultures to be honest. Like it's big in Japan, Korea, China. That's it blended out and now to make it um, more dimensional, I guess, we want to add some more shades. So I want to do a peachy lip today. So I have the MAC Art Library palette. And I'm going to take this like orangey red. So I'm loading up my brush with that shade. And then just pat that in the center. I think like less is more when it comes to this lip trend. Right, and then to finish off that lip, you just want to take any clear gloss that you have. So this is the Too Faced Lip Injection Gloss because I like a little bit of a plumping effect too with my lipstick. And that kind of just helps blend everything together. Alright guys, so that is the final look. I hope you all, hope you all, what, what? I hope you all learned a thing or two today, be it from some of the trends that did work or some that didn't. The foundation technique, I'm not so sure about. Um, I turned out a little bit orange. I don't think I would bring it as far down. The eyeliner, I absolutely love the Bella Hadid eyeliner. She's so pretty. And these lashes like go perfectly with it as well. And the lips, of course, it's a tried and true technique. I use it all the time. I love it. Hope you guys love it too. But I have to say there are always like insane TikTok trends coming up constantly to do with um, different makeup things. So just be a bit aware that like not all of them are practical and a lot of them are kind of for views. have to give a special shout out to some of my favourite products that I use today, which is the Ordinary Serum Foundation, 
the OG. I love this one so much. Um, use it constantly. And of course, the NYX Epic Ink Liner as well. Another one of my faves. Literally, I've been using these two for probably like four years now. Make sure you guys check the description box below for links to all of the products that I used if you want to buy any. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button, the notification bell, all that jazz. And you can follow me at Abby Roberts on all my social media. Bye, guys. Bye.